In a liquid-liquid extraction, what we're doing is uh, moving the analyte from one liquid phase into another liquid phase. So we're moving it from an aqueous phase into an organic phase, and that's normally done with a separate separatory funnel. Um, and there's a number of questions we can ask. For example, say we want to know how many uh, extractions do we need to do in order to get 99% efficiency. In other words, 99% of all the analyte um, transferred into a different phase. Um, to do that, we need to know the distribution ratio, which in this case is 7.5. We also need to know the volume of the organic phase. Uh, say that's 50 milliliters and the volume of the aqueous phase, let's say that's 30 milliliters. And if we know that, we can plug everything into an equation. And the equation we're going to use is that the fraction of analyte in the aqueous phase after a certain number of extractions equals the volume of the aqueous phase divided by distribution, fraction, um, distribution ratio times the volume of the organic phase plus the volume of the aqueous phase, or raised to the power n, where n is the number of extractions. So n is actually what we want to solve for. Now Q in this case is the fraction of the analyte remaining in the aqueous phase. So if we have a 99% efficiency, 99% of all the molecules leave, that means there's 1% left, and as a fraction, that's going to be 0.01. So we know that, we know all the other, um, the volumes and the um, distribution ratio, so we can plug our numbers in. So let's do that. And we'll end up with 0 0.01 equals uh, the volume of the aqueous phase, which we said was 30, multiplied by the distribution ratio, sorry, divided by the distribution ratio, multiplied by the volume of the organic phase, plus the volume of the aqueous phase, or to the power n. So what we'll probably do first is to uh, solve this, everything that's in parentheses. When you do that, you get a, a value of 0 0.074. So now we know that 0 0.01 equals 0 0.074 to the power n. And to solve that, we need to use our rules of logs. Take log of both sides. So the log of 0 0.01 equals n times the log of 0 0.074. Or if we rearrange that, n equals log of 0 0.01 divided by the log of point, uh, sorry, 0 0.074. And we get an answer of 1.77. Obviously, we can't do 1.77 extractions. So we'll say we need to do two extractions. So in this case, you would extract with the organic solvent, remove that, and then add more organic solvent and do a second extraction. 